What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk a little bit more about Quantifier Pro and how you can use it to quantify materials inside of your model. So before we get started I want to say a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Um, this extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. One of the perks of supporting the show on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that we cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so what I really wanted to talk about in today's video is to talk about how to get quantities out of a model that are applied as a material, right? Because one of the things that you can't do with the SketchUp generate report function, so what it doesn't do is it doesn't give you the ability to report out areas from your model. So there is an option in your model attributes to report out material, which let's see there it is so if we bring material over and we run a report you can report what material is applied to an object right so to different components or other things like that but there's no option at least that i have seen um, to actually report out area so there's no option in here to report out the area of a face or area of a material that i've seen so that's a bit of a limitation if you're trying to figure out like cost of carpet or something like that. Now, what we can do though, is we can use the extension Quantifier Pro in order to report this out and apply costs to it. And so let's go through and let's add some materials to this real quick. So let's say we wanna add maybe like a carpet material in this area. Notice how I've split this face so that we have different materials in different areas. But let's say we wanted to add a carpet in here so we'll just pick kind of a boring carpet material um, let's say we wanted to add maybe a tile in the restroom so something like this maybe like a wood square tile in this room let's say we wanted the carpet to continue into this room something like this right so what we've done is we've gone through and we've applied those materials to this model the other thing i want to do is i also want to apply a wall protection or a wall covering to these two walls right here so we'll just use the dog bone wallpaper and apply it to this wall. Well, now what we want to do is we want to pull those quantities out of SketchUp and bring them into Quantifier Pro, which by the way, I will link to in the notes down below. And so in its easiest sense, what you can do is you can click the little drop down right here inside of Quantifier Pro. There's an option here for a material report. So if you were to click on the button right now for create report, what that would do is that would go through and that would generate a report for all of the materials inside of the model. So it'll give you an idea of the area of every single material in the model. So if we look at this, notice how you've got like your carpet in here, you've got your carpet loop. So basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna give, you the, give us the area of every single material that's inside of our model. All right, so you can see how if we run that material report, that's gonna show us the quantity of material that's in here. But let's say we wanted to run a cost report. So what I'm gonna do is first off, notice if I click on an object, then this report updates to show me what's in the object. So this is gonna show you um, report data for what you have selected, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna select the group that I have the floor associated with this. But what I wanna do is I wanna go in and I wanna add a material cost to this carpet Berber multi. So we're just gonna click on the button for material. We're gonna click the drop down, and we're gonna look for the carpet Berber multi material in this list. So here it is right here. And what we want to do is we want to add some cost data. So we're going to click on the button to add cost item right here. Notice how this will let you set this to square feet or square meters. But what we want to do is we want to apply a cost. So in this case, I'm going to say $2.50 a square foot. Um, and then we're going to apply a waste factor right? Because the waste factor is basically going to be additional quantity because you're going to have to buy more carpet than just this exact area um, because it comes in rolls, other things like that. So we're just going to set our waste to 10%. We're going to set our tax rate to maybe like 8% right here. We're going to click on OK. Well, now if I was to click on this, notice how this refreshes with a cost. So what that means is that means that a cost is being applied to something inside of this model. And if you want to see what that is, you can click in here and you can do a cost detail report. You can click on this. Well, notice how that carpet material is going to show up in here. So you can use this to figure out different costs as well as different quantities as well. Let's say we wanted to add this for the other materials that we just dropped in here. So we would want to add cost for the concrete pavers material. 
So we'll go to material, we'll look for our concrete pavers material right here. We're gonna apply a cost there and we'll say that's maybe going to be like $12 a foot with a waste factor of, we'll call it 10% again, same tax. We'll click on okay. We'll notice how now if I click on this again, this cost is gonna update with additional cost, right? So it's got cost in there for multiple different materials. So then we can do the same thing with our wood tile. So materials, so we want the wood square tile right here. We'll add a unit cost of, call it 10 bucks a foot. Go ahead and click on okay. So now we've got additional cost in there for that. So if we were to run our cost detail report right here, you can see how you've got costs in here for your carpet, your concrete pavers and your wood tile. But what we don't have is we don't have anything in here for our wallpaper, right? So we've got our floors, but if we click in here, there's no cost associated with our wallpaper. So what we can do is we can just select this, um, just make sure we have the name right, and then we'll add another piece of cost data for the wallpaper dog bone material. So right here. I'm not sure what something like that would cost. We'll call it, I don't know, five bucks a square foot with 20% waste, 8% tax. Click on OK. So now if I click on this, notice how I'm getting the cost associated with that wall covering. But if I click on the floor, I'm getting the cost associated with the floor. And if we run the report with just the floor selected, notice how your wallpaper doesn't show up. So when you run the report, you wanna make sure that you select everything like this. And then you wanna run that cost detail report like this. So now what you have is you have carpet material, you have concrete or the concrete pavers, you have all of this with costs associated with them right here. Notice how this also gives you the option to export this report to a CSV, which you can open in Excel. Um, one other thing you could do as well is with your materials like this one, what you could do is you could add a code to them, right? So for your wallpaper, for example, that might be a 099001. Your carpet might be a 09501. So you can go through and you can apply these just like this. Well then, if you run that cost detail report, then you can order those by code. So you can use this to group the different parts and pieces um, of your materials inside a quantifier. So you can see how it's really easy to get quantities, costs, and totals using this extension. All right, so I will link to both Quantifier Pro as well as the BIM bundle where you can get both Quantifier Pro and Profile Builder um, at a discounted rate if you purchase them as a part of a package. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, um, anything else that you'd like to do with Quantifier. Just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.